2023 is off to an amazing start. God is moving in some amazing, incredible ways. I am so happy that you and I get to witness all God has done and all God will do in 2023. But I also feel very strongly that the enemy is trying to attack so many people. Maybe you, I know that he's trying to tempt me when it comes to disappointment. Yes, it's a brand new year and I feel sometimes that I am a disappointment. Sometimes I feel like I let my parents down, that I disappoint them. Sometimes I feel like I disappoint my friends. Sometimes I even feel like I disappoint myself. That's the enemy trying to get at you, saying you are a disappointment. You do bring shame upon yourself, upon your family, upon friendships, but that's not what God says. God says you are perfectly loved, you are fiercely loved, you are my child. Because of the blood Jesus shed, we are made white as snow. Our sins are wiped away so long as we actively repent and actively seek Jesus. So in God's eyes, no matter what you do, you are not a disappointment because he is your Abba. He is my Abba. He will never be disappointed in you. Yes, you will sin. You sinned in the past, you sin again in the future. But because you believe in Jesus, that he resurrected and died for your sins and died for my sins, our sins are wiped away in God's eyes. God will not view you as a disappointment. Your past sins, your future sins, your future mistakes, your present mistakes, God will use that as a testimony to encourage other people and to share the word of God. So whenever you think I'm a disappointment, don't focus on what people say, what society says, what social media says, even what you say and what you think about yourself. Go back to the Bible and see who God says you are. God says you are his beloved child. You are perfect in his eyes. You are righteous in his eyes. So even though our mindset may go negative and we may think we are a disappointment, stop, take a breath, maybe even walk away from people that may not be good to be around. Go in a private area, grab your Bible, whether it's a book form or your phone, and remember who God says you are. You are loved, you are free, and you are not a disappointment in God's eyes. And in his point of view, that's the only one that matters. So I really challenge you, if you ever feel discouraged or that your mistake take a step back of your situation go off in a private place where it's just you and God and remember who he says you are